a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Shuri, Comics Shuri is a fictional superhero appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. The character was created by writer Reginald Hudlin and artist John Romit Jr. first appearing in Black Panther Vol. 4. Shuri is a princess of the fictional African kingdom of Wakanda. She is the daughter of Chaka and half-sister of T'Challa, who is the king of Wakanda in the Black Panther, an earned title and rank given to the chief of the nation. She has a genius level intellect alongside her brother T'Challa. After T'Challa is left recovering from critical injuries sustained in battle, Shuri is tested and found suitable for the role of Black Panther and ruler of Wakanda. She possesses all the enhanced abilities given to the Black Panther via ancient Wakandan ritual, is a skilled martial artist, allowed access to extensive advanced technologies and wealth, and uses learned transmorphic capabilities. Along with her role in the comics, Shuri has made appearances in related television series and video games. Letitia Wright portrays the character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe 2018 film Black Panther. Wright returns as Shuri in Avengers Infinity War. Publication History Created by writer Reginald Hudlin and John Romita Jr. Shuri first appeared in Black Panther Vol. 4. The character originally written as a princess of Wakanda in supporting character, trains to and eventually successfully succeeds her older brother T'Challa, becoming the Black Panther and ruler of Wakanda in her own right. Fictional Character Biography The Princess of Wakanda, Shuri is Jaka's youngest child and only daughter. From a very young age, Shuri coveted the Black Panther mantle. She attempts to challenge the then Black Panther, her uncle Sion, for the mantle, only to discover that he had already been defeated by her older half-brother T'Challa. During an attack on Wakanda by Claw and a group of his mercenaries, she uses the ebony blade to defeat the Russian radioactive man, killing him in the process. Shell-shocked by her first kill, T'Challa promises to train her in hand-to-hand -hand combat, enabling her to fight on her own terms should she ever need to take his place as leader of Wakanda. While T'Challa and his wife Queen Aurora are away as members of the Fantastic Four, American battleships aligned with Eric Killmonger moved in on Wakanda. With their king away, Shuri and her advisors decide to sneak onto the ships in the night and incapacitate them. During the raid Shuri is captured by Killmonger's men and thrown in a cell. She challenges Killmonger himself to a fight but, seeing her as beneath him, he sends a group of his men to battle her. She defeats them easily and is broken out of her cell by Zuri, one of T'Challa's advisors. After T'Challa and Aurora leave the Fantastic Four and return to Wakanda, the Skrulls invade Wakanda as a part of secret invasion. Shuri and her uncle Sion lead most of the Wakandan army on an assault against the invading Skrulls. While T'Challa and Aurora battle their leaders, Prince Namor of Atlantis attempts to recruit T'Challa for the Cabal a secret council of supervillains run by Doctor Doom. He rejects the offer, but is attacked by the various members, and is left in a comatose state. Queen Aurora nominates Shuri as his successor, and she successfully completes the various trials, granting herself access to the heart-shaped herb. However, when she consumes the herb, the Wakandan Panther God does not imbue her with the powers of the Black Panther instead rejecting her due to her lifelong jealousy of her brother's mantle and her arrogance in its presence. When the powerful villain Morlan threatens to annihilate Wakanda entirely, Shuri takes on the Black Panther identity and outfit anyway, and manages to both save Wakanda and resurrect her comatose brother. Through her humble act of self-sacrifice she earns the mantle of the Black Panther, and the Panther God grants her its accompanying powers. When a now powerless T'Challa discovers that Doctor Doom infected many Wakandan officials and advisors with Nanits, he goes off in search of a way to stop him, leaving Shuri as acting ruler of Wakanda. Shuri tracks down and fights Nama, trying to suss out for herself what part he played in her brother's injuries. Together, T'Challa and Shuri discover that the infected Wakandans, calling themselves the Desturi, intend to stage a revolution seizing power in Wakanda for themselves, with Doctor Doom's Desturi successfully overthrowing the incumbent Wakandan government as seen in the Doom War storyline, he finds himself with access to the world's largest supply of vibranium. Shuri and repowered T'Challa, 
who are able to avoid infection from Doom's nanites due to their heightened senses, remain the only way Candons not under Doom's control. They team up with Colossus, Nightcrawler, and Wolverine of the X-Men to regain control in Wakanda. They succeed, but Doom steals a large portion of the Vibranium. Shuri travels the globe, attempting to destroy Doom's criminal network and recover the stolen Vibranium. Doom uses Vibranium's inherent mystical qualities to take control of all processed Vibranium on the planet, and Shuri and the other heroes attempt to fight and stop him. They succeed, when T'Challa uses Doom's own mystical ploys against him, rendering all processed vibranium on the planet inert, with Wakanda struggling economically as seen in the Claws of the Panther storyline. Shuri travels to the Savage Land to meet with Khazar, and obtain a stock of natural vibranium present there. They are attacked by Claw, who wants the vibranium for his own use. They defeat him, but a volcanic eruption caused by his sound waves covers the vibranium and renders it unobtainable. She tracks down other stockpiles in Madripoor and New York, but Claw already has AIM troops excavating both sites and fights ensue. Claw have created a monster called MUSIC, using the vibranium, and intended to place it on an AIM space station to enslave the world. With help from various other heroes, including Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Black Widow, Shuri is able to thwart his scheme. Following Nama's attack on Wakanda during Avengers vs X-Men, Shuri declares war on Atlantis, despite her brother's protests. The Wakandans virtually level Atlantis, leaving only a few Atlantean survivors. She also banishes her brother from the Golden City, from where she rules Wakanda. In retaliation for Shuri's assault on Atlantis, at a time in which he had been suing for peace, Nama tells Thanos agents that Wakanda is the location of their target, Thanos' son, in the hopes of vengeance against Shuri and her people. During the 2013 Infinity storyline, it is shown that Shuri is the head of the Wakandan School for Alternative Studies. When Wakanda is attacked by the Cabal during the Time Runs Out storyline, Shuri sacrifices herself by staying behind in order to hold off Proxima Midnight so T'Challa can escape. Her death is later confirmed when her spirit is seen among those of the past Black Panthers. As part of Marvel's 2015 branding all new, all different Marvel, T'Challa is shown trying to revive Shuri's body. Shuri's soul had transcended to the Jalia which was a spiritual plane consisting of the entire memories of Wakanda. There Shuri trained under the tutelage of a Griot spirit who had taken the form of her mother, Ramonda. As they trained the Griot spirit shared the memories of not only Wakanda, but also before the nation had formed. With the help of Manifold, T'Challa was able to combine his technology and manifold spending of reality to bring Shuri's soul back to the physical plane. After her revival Shuri had been imbued with a power similar to that of the Griot spirit. She had then been informed of the events taking place in her absence including the rogue Dora Milaje and the rebellion led by Tetu and Zenzi. Shuri had then set out to confront the rogue Dora Milaje and convince them to join forces with T'Challa in order to stop the rebellion and the march against the Golden City, which she was successful in doing. With the united power of Shuri, T'Challa, Manifold, the Dora Milaje, and the forces of Wakanda, Tetu was defeated although Zenzi had escaped. As the rebellion came to an end Shuri joined Wakanda's council that had been established by T'Challa. Powers and Abilities Before undergoing the trials to become the Black Panther, Shuri was an extensively trained martial artist. After the trials, like the Black Panthers before her, Shuri consumed the heart-shaped herb. This granted her enhanced speed, agility, strength, endurance and senses. Her uniform is composed of vibranium. Through her training underneath the tutelage of a Griot spirit while in the Jalia, Shuri had been imbued with new supernatural abilities that allowed her to transform her body into a flexible stone-like material which also granted her an enhanced durability that cannot be dented by normal gunfire or powerful directed energy weapons. Shuri is also capable of anamorphism which allows her to transform herself and whoever she is in direct contact with into a flock of black birds or singular large dark bird. Shuri's training in the Jalia also imbued her with super speed and the ability to temporarily reanimate Wakandan corpses. Reanimating Wakandan corpses takes a lot of energy from her, meaning she can do it for only a short period of time. Other versions 
a character similar to Shuri, Jala's younger sister Channa, appeared in the Marvel manga verse. She turned her back on the Wakandan people, instead becoming an apprentice and later the successor of Doctor Doom. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?